Hi, I'm Bob Ross. And today, we're going to be painting There are no mistakes, only happy little trees. Wait, I'm not Bob Ross? Fine, let's just go to the footage. Hey everyone, Cody here. And today, we're going to do a dabbed painting. Um, we're going to be using our gloss enamel. We've got our sheet of paper on the pad still. And today we're going to be using uh, some plastic. So this plastic wrap is actually um, like the wrap that some of the canvas came in. So we're going to be using this for our dab painting as opposed to corrugated plastic or uh, a trowel or anything like that. And the reason is, is I tried it the other day and it actually worked out pretty good. So we're going to try it again. Um, now, if you don't know what this little plastic is, this little plastic divider also came in a pack of canvas to protect them. Well, I put it between the sheets, so I'll put it under the sheet I'm working on to protect the sheets underneath. That way I can paint on a relatively flat surface, but also uh, protect the sheets underneath. So that's why it's there. Uh, the colors we're working with today is gold, uh, dark blue, and white. The dark blue is called like Old Mill or something. It's like a midnight blue, so it looks almost black, but it's dark blue. Um, so yeah, that, I mean, that's pretty much it. Uh, we've got our plastic, and we'll use that. Now, normally I'll make a bunch of little pockets of the colors. Today I'm only going to do two big pockets of each color, and we're going to see how that kind of turns out. So we'll go ahead and do white first. Um, we're just going to make like a little puddle of it here, and then like a little puddle of it here, and we'll just kind of do that. Uh, next we'll do our blue, so we'll do it actually down here. So we'll do a little pile there, and then we'll do another pile eh, like right here. Uh, that's probably plenty of paint. And then lastly, we'll do our gold. So we'll do gold right here. And we'll do it right here. And we're going to kind of work our way outward of these colors. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to get our plastic. Um, and we're going to kind of make, make it as, as rippled and wrinkled and wavy as possible. So we actually want a lot of like waves and kind of distortion in the plastic. We don't want it flat because that will kind of just make it flat on the on the painting. So we kind of want it to be like popping out a little bit, but not too much. Um, and so I think that's probably pretty good. That'll give us some, uh, some design. So then we're gonna take this and we're gonna start pulling our paint out. Now what I wanna do is try to pull out the white first and I wanna try to kind of spread out the white and, and make a little area of it so that once we start dabbing the colors, uh, we have kind of a pure white area. And we always want to start with our lightest color first because once we start going into the other colors, then they'll start uh, pulling together and you'll lose that color. So now, see, now we're into the gold and we're going to start kind of losing the white because we've already touched the gold. So we're gonna go ahead and start pulling the gold out and then we're gonna move up to this gold up here and try to uh, pull some of that gold out over there. And we'll actually go this way and go down and we're gonna pull some of that gold here and then we're gonna start moving into our blue here. So now we're gonna start pulling the blue out into the other areas. some of these colors out together. So we're going to start pulling some of the gold and the white with the blue here and we'll kind of go over that and we're going to pull some of these colors together. So now we can start kind of mixing these colors and overlapping them because we have some pockets of pure color. I 
And there's a lot of blue over here, so we're gonna kind of pull it out. And then there's a little bit of undone canvas over here. So we're going to try to make sure that the whole thing is covered. We're going to pull some more of the gold out and see if we can get, we'll even pull it off of this little protector sheet and move it down there. I think that's all covered. This little area has some uncovered spots right there. So let's see if we can I get that. <clears throat> and we're gonna move the plastic a little bit. I'm gonna try to pull up some of this gold here. So there is a little bit of area where this isn't covered. So we're gonna pull some of that paint over. And then we've got some right there. So we're gonna pull from some of our areas with more paint and pull it into the little areas with the with less. So there's actually some right here up here with this white area. So we're gonna pull some of that gold and try to mix some of these colors in. And we're gonna pull some of the white out actually and just try to try to get a little more color variation out here. So I'm gonna leave it alone. It's actually pretty good. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and take a look here. So this is the final piece. There's a lot going on, I know. I'm gonna try to get a photo of it. I think I got one. All right, so this is the final piece here. So this is kind of an overview right here. And we'll just take a look. So we've got a lot of distortion with the colors. A lot of movement here. A lot of waves. And I think these colors are really good. I mean, I like gold and I think it just goes well with white and kind of darker colors. So I think it worked out really well. It does kind of look like black, but uh, you know, I don't want to move it around too much because it's got to dry. So if I move it, it'll kind of shift those paints. So I'm gonna leave it alone, but actually it turned out really well. Very proud of it. Uh, yeah, so pretty much a success. I don't know what else to say. So anyway, guys, I, sorry, I had to take my glove off. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. It turned out good. And uh, I think we'll probably do more of these dad paintings with the plastic in the future. Anyways, that's it. I will catch you guys later. Take care. God bless. See you then and stay safe. Bye guys.